Hello, I'm Paul Goddard, clinical hypnotherapist and master practitioner of neurolinguistic programming. Today I wanted to share with you a story that I first come across in this little small book that I'm holding in my hand now, 10 Secrets of Abundance, Happiness, Ancient Chinese Wisdom to Enhance Your Life. And it was written by Adam Jackson. This is a story that was, was mentioned in this little book and it really resonated with me when I first heard it. Although I believe everybody should do what they want to do in life and there is so many reasons why you should go ahead and improve upon where you are right now. But it's also important to accept where we are. As I always like to say at the end of a lot of my talks, the past is history, the future is mystery and the present is a gift. The only real gift that is given to you is right here, right now. And it's good to what's called future pace yourself and think and plan for wonderful goals in the future. But it's also important to realise the power that you have inside you right now. And really take a look at yourself because we're the best people at beating ourselves up as I've heard many inspirational speakers say before and in all the books that I've read or the teaching I had, if we had a friend that spoke to us like we talk to ourselves in our head a lot of times, we probably wouldn't be friends with them for very long. So it's important that you start looking at yourself and start congratulating yourself for all the things that you've done so far. I'm going to read this story now and just really listen to the words, truly listen to them and truly get what the original writer of this story was intending. There was once a stonecutter who was unhappy and wished to be someone else with a different position in life. One day he passed a wealthy merchant's house and saw all the great possessions the merchant possessed and he noticed how well respected the merchant was about the town. The stonecutter was envious of this great merchant and wished he could be exactly like him. Then he would no longer have to be a mere stonecutter. To his astonishment, his wish was granted and he suddenly became the merchant and had more power and more luxuries than he ever dreamed of. He was also envied and despised by the poorer people and had more enemies than he'd ever dreamed of as well. He then noticed a high official being transported by servants and surrounded by soldiers. Everyone bowed to the great and mighty official. He was more powerful and respected than any other throughout the kingdom. And the stonecutter, who was now a merchant, wished he could be like the high official, with servants and soldiers to guard him, and more power than any other. His wish was again granted, and he became the high official, the most powerful man in the whole kingdom, before whom everyone bowed. But the official was also the most feared and hated in all the kingdom as well, which was why he needed so many soldiers to guard him. And the heat of the sun made the official very uncomfortable and weary. He looked up at the fierce sun shining brightly in the sky and said, How powerful it is! I wish I could be the sun. And no sooner had he wished it then he became the sun, shining down on the earth, but a big black cloud came along and blocked the sun's rays. How mighty the cloud is, he thought. I wish I was as powerful as the cloud. He then became the cloud, covering the sun's rays and raining down on the villagers. But a mighty wind came and blew the cloud away. I wish I could be as powerful as the wind, 
he thought. And, as he said it, he became the wind. But whilst the wind could uproot trees and destroy whole villages, it was powerless against a great boulder. The huge stone was unmovable, resisting the force of the wind. How powerful the stone is, he said. I wish I could be as powerful as the stone. Then he became the great stone, which resisted the most powerful wind. He was now happy at last. The most powerful force of everything on earth. But then he heard a noise. Chink, chink, chink. Chink. A hammer was banging a chisel into the stone, breaking it away piece by piece. What could be more powerful than I, he thought. And there, at the foot of the great stone, was a stone cutter. So be aware of all the power and all the wonderful things that you are as a human being. Thank you for listening. For more information about how NLP and hypnotherapy can help move your life forward in many positive ways, then you can go to my website, www.paulgoddardnlp.co.uk. You can also like me on Facebook, Paul Goddard NLP and Hypnotherapy. If you like this audio video, please click the subscribe button on my channel. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.